Hi, this is Derek with Cleaning Business Today, and we're starting our series of product reviews. This is something we're going to be doing hopefully for the rest of the year. And I'm going to start with one of my favorite products and the one I know pretty well, which is the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and I don't know how you couldn't be with the billions of dollars that have been spent on marketing, uh, this little thing is pretty miraculous for cleaning. It removes scuff marks from walls. Uh, it does a really good job removing those little annoying black marks you get on your hardwood floors. Some things that people don't know about them though is they also work really well on showered doors to help remove soap scum. We will use them sometimes when uh, we are using a bathroom cleaner to get rid of heavy soap scum. Now it is important to understand what these are and what they're actually doing. Uh, these are made out of a super fine foam called melamine. Um, and pretty much all melamine in America is made by the same company over in Germany. So that's your first tip on these things is as much as I like my former employer Procter & Gamble, um, this is one area where the private label and the branded product is normally very similar. Um, so while the magic erasers are great and they can do some things to make them last a little bit longer like compress them, um, and this particular pack is kind of cool because it's a select size pack. They've got little ones, medium ones, large ones. Um, at the end of the day, what makes it work, the melamine foam is the same in this as every other product. Uh, probably two of the least expensive places I know of to buy these are Bold Clean and Sponge Outlet, both of which offer these in lots of like 300, which is pretty important for a cleaning company. Now, the other thing that's important to know is how this works. If you feel it, it feels a little bit rough, and the cleaning agent in this is actually basically microscopic sandpaper. Um, so think of this as a super extra fine sandpaper. So you do have to be a little careful using this, particularly on shiny surfaces. If you use this on a shiny surface, it's probably going to remove the shine from it. Um, and that can be a real problem on, uh, once again, I mentioned it's great on hardwood floors, but it can leave a dull spot. They're great on counters. Another area you have to be very careful is paint. Um, if it's not a super high gloss paint, this microscopic, microscopic sandpaper can take the paint off the wall and leave a bare spot. Um, another one of my favorite tricks with these guys is uh, ink transfer stains. I don't know if you've ever had like a piece of paper that sits on a countertop and gets wet and the ink will soak into the countertop and you cannot get it out with any cleaning product. Um, I find a magic eraser will get rid of it, but once again, especially on shiny countertops, this can make the countertop dull. So one tip that was taught to me by one of my coaches a long time ago is anything you tell a customer ahead of time is an education anything you tell them after fact is an excuse so I always warn the customers up front and tell them hey I can probably remove that ink spot on your counter but if I do I might leave a dull spot is that okay most customers are gonna say yeah go ahead and try now about 60 percent of the time when I use one of these slightly more than half the time it doesn't leave behind a dull spot but almost half of the time it does so that's why it's important to warn them so this is the uh, magic eraser or the melamine foam eraser um, hopefully you know a little bit about more what it's good at, what it's bad at, and how to use it in the future and where to get it from. Uh, keep watching us. We're going to do one of these every single week until uh, I run out of products. And there's an awful lot of cleaning products out there. If you've got any suggestions, shoot them in and let me know. Thanks.